Isn't space insane? Really, Lenny? It's barely ten. You're already starting in with the space talk? Look up and disagree. I don't need to look up. I know space is cool. It's not cool. It's insane. You guys want to know what's really insane? Don't encourage him. Parallel universes. What do you mean? Imagine that somewhere out there, right now, there's another version of this. Of us. Okay. So, there's this idea that for every tiny, inconsequential decision you make, another reality branches out from the decision you didn't make. What? Pete, you remember when that truck almost hit your bike and you thought you were gonna die? Yeah. Okay, say you get a text message right before that, and you feel your phone vibrate in your pocket, and right at that very moment, BAM! That slight distraction cuts into your reaction time, and a close call becomes a hit. And now, there's another reality out there where Pete's not here, or not there. So wait, you're telling me there's another dimension where Pete's still alive? Yeah, I mean, there has to be. And I'm sure we're having the time of our lives, you know, not sitting here getting drunk in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not just about life or death things. Yeah, it could be other things too. Like what? I don't know. Um, like the people in your life. So is this the part where you tell me that Nina doesn't know what she's missing out on? <laughs> I mean, who knows, man? If she hadn't broken it off, we might be married by now. You think so? I feel like we would have ended up together no matter what. Mark and Nina forever. We should carve that in one of the neighbor's trees. You think a steak knife will work? You know, but seriously, I can't believe you almost broke up with me back then. Things would totally be different. Don't you believe in fate? That's a tough question. I feel like fate's something you make sense of looking back, not forward. Like, I would have never met you had I not dropped that bio class for poetry. You actually thought of taking poetry? Yeah. I could be a poet. Maybe. But I'm glad you didn't. And I got such a bright and handsome lab partner. Well, who else was gonna play Mahjong on their phone while you prepped Bunsen burners? <laughs> thought this all through so much. Well, someone has to. So what other realities are out there? Infinite. I mean, it could be the smallest things. Like, what if it were raining out, so we decided to eat in the dining room tonight? Or maybe you didn't cook and we ordered pizza instead. If you wanted me to cook something, you should have just said so. That's not what I'm saying. Maybe you did cook in another reality. Maybe you wore a different outfit. Mark, if you're gonna complain, just complain. Don't wrap it up in this metaphysical crap. Or maybe I just get so sick of it, I decide to leave. Don't do this. Emily, listen, I can change. Everything will be different. People are the way they are, Mark. I'm sorry, but we just don't work together. But we could if we tried. I can think of a thousand- You can't think your way out of this. Goodbye, Mark. Sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one.
Maybe there's a dimension where an asteroid got off by a few degrees and smashed the Earth a million years ago. That sounds kind of peaceful, right? The view's always good. No city smog, no light pollution. It might get lonely though. It might get boring. Maybe I'd start searching for another dimension. Maybe I'd find it. Maybe there'd be people. Maybe they'd look familiar. It's just, you know, heavy to think about. Yeah, especially the part where I'm dead. Don't worry. I think it's safe to say we're all stuck with you here in this reality. Everything else is just a thought. <laughs>